Folks, this is from the New York Times. CDC eases COVID guidelines, noting that the virus is here to stay. Y'all, I just want to once again remind everyone, what, what does CDC stand for? What is the name of the CDC? The CDC stands for Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The CDC throughout this entire pandemic has been the most disappointing institution I've ever seen. Right, you ever watch these movies like Outbreak or, right, like, or, you know, like Contagion or any of these movies, right? Or like, you know, whatever, like any movie where like the CDC is like coming in and they're like saying like they're shutting down whole cities, you know, like the CDC comes around and they're like, you know, they have authority to like nuke the entire side of the country, you know, um, you ever see this shit? And then in, in the real life, in real world, uh, you know, environments, the CDC is garbage. The CDC tried nothing. The official COVID guidelines this entire time have been recommended. They've tried nothing. The only way that you're going to convince stupid, shit for brains, diarrhea leaking out of their ears, Americans, the average American is so fucking goddamn stupid, they barely know how to wash their hands, okay? So, the only way that we could have done anything about this pandemic would be to have mandatory lockdowns, mandatory quarantining. Um, China did mandatory lockdowns and mandatory quarantining, and uh, they did a pretty good job up until they decided, eh, fuck it, whatever. They release all the lockdown uh, quarantining protocols. Everyone's having fun and partying. Then a new variant comes around, and then, you know, they fuck around. Look at a country like Vietnam, which did proper contract uh, contact tracing. They have, you know, a universal healthcare system that, you know, people that are sick get help, and they actually are able to live longer. They're actually able to die less often, right? So, you know, again, the American brain the the consciousness that we all share in this country is uh it's not a good brain i don't know what else to really say i mean this is going to go down in history as like why do we like let's be honest we don't have a cdc like the cdc is a waste of money look at monkeypox which is the next pandemic the cdc is not doing anything there either is the cdc going to be funneling all of their resources into getting vaccines in every population? No. Is the CDC going to recommend people stay home from work if they work in areas where people have monkeypox? No. Is the CDC going to recommend lockdowns or, you know, masking or like provide everyone universal PPE so that they don't get infected? No. So why do we have a CDC? How much money, my question, how much money are we wasting by funding the CDC? I'm just curious. They've done nothing this entire time. The CDC has done nothing at all. They tried nothing, and then they did this. What do we do? What are we supposed to do? It's sad. It's sad. And then, of course, you have people that do care, like myself, like a lot of people that watch my show, people that do care, people that do wear masks when they leave the house, people that, you know, if they did get sick, they quarantine, people, you know, that follow all the rules, quote unquote, and we're still going to have to get COVID anyway. Like, I'm going to get COVID, like, in 2025, because the CDC was too lazy to do anything. They were too fucking lazy to do their own job. If I work at Bojangles, and my boss is like, why aren't you frying the chicken? You got to fry the chicken. And I'm just like, eh, don't really feel like it. Sorry, I'm lazy. I don't really feel like it. You know what would happen? The manager at Bojangles would fucking fire me. But if you work for the CDC, oh, maybe we should do something about this virus. Eh, kind of lazy. Don't really feel like it. And you get a raise. You get to go on TV. Isn't that crazy how we construct our society? Right? When you are in the position of power and you're one of the only people that are able to do something, you don't have to work. 
You just go on TV for free, you go home, you buy a six pack of Coca Cola, and you watch whatever fucking garbage is on the television at night until you fall a fucking sleep. All right, that's all you do. If you're the director of the CDC, fuck it, you have no job. Your job is to be a celebrity. You go on television and you do fucking nothing all day. That's your fucking job. Whereas I can't go to work at fucking Wendy's and then, you know, oh, get the get in the drive through, and then I can't just like you know sing songs on the drive through window. Otherwise, I'll get fired. What? I wanna- I'm just chilling. Well, I'm sorry, I'm a little lazy. I don't feel like working today. You know, you ever think about it, though? Like, really, isn't that kind of fucked up? How poor people are expected to be working ourselves to the bone? We're expected, if we make a single mistake at work, we have to get fired, and we have to, like, think about it, and we have to be, like, so sad and upset at ourselves. From how- how dare did we leave the fucking fish out of the refrigerator? Oh, no, it's over. Right, but if you work in these powerful institutions, you can fuck up over and over and over and over again and you fall, you fail upwards. Right, like police do this all the time. They kill people and then they get promoted. Isn't that crazy? They murder someone unarmed, a black man who's running away, then they get a promotion. That's basically what the CDC uh, does. They murder people en masse, they're responsible for a million deaths, and then they get promotions. They're like, oh, fuck yeah, let's go. Let's go out on the company trip. Isn't this great? The society that we've constructed for ourselves, let's read this fucking article here. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention loosened COVID-19 guidelines on Thursday, freeing schools, freeing the language here from the New York Times, Emily, Emily Athen Athens. This is a genocidal fucking maniac. Emily Athens, Athens, Athens. I don't even know how to pronounce her name. These people are genocidal. They look at the disabled population with contempt. They say, ooh. You're immunocompromised? Pfft. Not in three years you won't be because you'll be dead. They're genocidal. I need you to understand. They are genocidal. I, like, the history, right, of this cannot go, you know... I just need to, like, 30 years from now, 40 years from now, people that are still alive, my generation, we're going to be looking back at this, right? And we need to be taking notes on who the pro-genocide freaks are. Emily Anthens framing subjecting kids to torturing themselves with viruses as quote freedom no we're gonna free the kids so that they can get infected and get long covid and have an entire life 70 years on this planet in agony and torment just wondering maybe if the cdc would have done their jobs when they were a kid maybe just maybe they'd have a life like the rest of us we're gonna free them Isn't that insane? The, charge, the changes are a sharp move away from measures such as social distancing requirements and quarantining, which had polarized much of the country. Y'all, I need you to understand. Republicans. This isn't a game, okay? Republicans are not people that disagree with you. Republicans are not just like, lost sheep in the wilderness they are actively trying to kill everyone on this planet and in this country that does not agree with them i need you to understand this a lot of people go out there and they say oh republicans are just we just disagree conservatives we agree to disagree no i need you to understand this conservatives right-wingers republicans in this country are a threat to the rest of us. They are a cancer that needs to be cut out of our body. Our body politic, that is. Right, again, if you have frostbite on your left leg, right, and you're going into sepsis, what do you need to do in that situation? You need to cut the rotting limb off. That is the Republican Party. That is Republican voters, not just politicians, but Republican voters. They are a genocidal freak cult. I need you to understand this. There is no such thing as a good Republican. It's impossible. It's the same argument that people said, oh, the Nazis shouldn't be hung. They shouldn't be tried for their war crimes. They were just following orders. Except in this case, Republican voters aren't following orders. They're just naturally this fucking stupid and they enjoy it. I need you to understand, Republicans, there is no such thing 
as a good Nazi. They don't exist. If there were good Nazis, we'd look at history a little bit differently, all right? Polarized much of the country and effectively acknowledged that what the way many Americans have been navigating the pandemic for some time, the agency's action comes as children across the country return to school and many offices have reopened. We know that COVID-19 is here to stay. Greta Massetti, a CDC epidemiologist, said at a news briefing on Thursday, high levels of population immunity due to vaccination or previous infection. Again, the new variants, previous infection immunity doesn't really do anything. So the CDC, they are lying. I need you to understand this, right? This is the world that we're living in, right? We cannot trust any government institution ever. The CDC is openly just lying. We have read many, I've read them on my show, that the BA5 variant is more immunity evasive and develops weaker immunities. You can be reinfected uh, with COVID and other variants all the time, like especially when there's multiple variants going on, right? If there's like three different variants in circulation, you might be immune for three weeks to one variant, then get the other variant in a week and a half, right? The CDC is just lying to you. They are lying to you because they think that you're stupid. And guess what? You probably are, unless you're watching my show, of course. Like, and I don't, you know, I don't want to sound like a fucking conspiracy nut here. But you know what? Fuck it. I will take the fucking mantle of conspiracy nut if this is the world that we're living in. The CDC's new guidelines come after more than two years of a pandemic in which more than one million Americans have died. We still have approximately 500 fucking deaths in this country per week 500 people isn't that crazy like that's just acceptable right people are just fine with hundreds and hundreds of people dying for no reason While the highly contagious BA5 subvariant of Omicron spreading, the United States is recording more than 100,000 cases and nearly 500 deaths a day on average. Oh, 500 deaths a day now? Okay, with this recent charge. But many Americans dispensed with practices such as social distancing, quarantine, and mask wearing long ago. Quote, I think they're attempting to meet up with the reality that everyone in the public is pretty much done with this pandemic. Pretty much done. pretty much done what we're done with the pandemic oh i'm glad that random shit fuck for brains just decided the pandemic's over isn't that great yeah we're done oh did the virus go away no oh are we all vaccinated against the virus so it can no oh are we all gonna wear masks so that we can all safely get no Oh, are we all going to do anything at all to prevent... Th no. We're done. Imagine if you're in third grade and you get some homework. And you bring in the homework. You didn't touch the homework. Nothing is written on the homework. Your name's not even written on the homework. But you turn it in anyway. Now, imagine a scenario where the teacher pulls you aside and says, Hey, I didn't... You know, what... Is this yours? And then they put the empty page and it said, yeah, I'm done. I'm done with the homework. You're done? You're done. Oh, yeah, I'm just done. I'm sorry. I'm done. Well, you didn't fill anything out. You didn't do anything. Yeah, I know. I'm done. I just decided that I'm done. What? I'm yeah, I'm done. Imagine you go to work. Right, and you're a janitor, right? And you're supposed to clean out the bathrooms at this hotel. And the hotel management goes to the bathroom and sees, oh shit, there's fucking shit on the walls. There's piss all over the ceiling. How did this happen? And they go like, hey, why didn't you clean this up? Oh, sorry, I'm done. What? But you didn't, oh no, 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 I'm just done. I, I just decided, eh, I'm done. I'm done. But you didn't do your work, I'm done, sorry. That's the CDC. If you're working at that janitorial job, you get fired. If you're at Bojangles and you say, eh, I'm done. 
I didn't I didn't do anything. I'm just sitting in the back room listening to my iPod. I'm done. Sorry. You get fired. If you're working at the fucking Roto Rooter and you're like, oh shit, I don't feel like changing the tires. I'm done. I'm done. I refuse. I'm done. I just decided, eh, I'm done. So you get fired. If you fucking are a child and you hand in empty fucking blank pages as homework or your test and you just say, I'm done. Guess what? You fail. But if you're the CDC, you can just say, oh, I didn't do any work. I did nothing at all. And I'm done. And everyone's like, so brave. They caught up with the rest of America. So brave. What? That's the world we live in. I need you to understand that these institutions are only as legitimate as how they handle these crises, uh, these crises, right? If the CDC is not able to combat this pandemic, the CDC is not able to do anything. We shouldn't even have a CDC. What's the fucking point? It's a waste of fucking money. It's a waste of fucking money. I would rather spend whatever percentage less in my taxes than deal with funding a fucking inept institution that does nothing and then gaslights us all into saying that they've done everything that they can. The agency has been working for months on the new guidance, which builds on previous recommendations issued in February when the agency shortened isolation times. They've been working for months on the guidance of do nothing and hope for the best. It took them months to come up with this idea. Imagine you get hired for a landscaping job, right? You're supposed to like, you know, convert this like forest into like an empty field with grass or whatever, right? You're one of those people, right? And then your contractor like calls you up after three weeks, you know, they go and they check and they see that nothing has happened. And then you go like, I'm still working on like how I'm, a, you know, I got to figure out the best way to chop these trees down. I got to... You know, I'm still working on it. And then three months later, they call you again. And they're like, oh, I just noticed nothing's happening. Well, I decided that I'm done. And I've been working for months on on coming up with this. But I, I just decided, eh, you know what? It'd be easier if I did nothing. I, I decided it would be easier for all of us if I just didn't do the job you paid me to do. What? But you work in the CDC. You get promoted. You get a raise. Oh shit, you did nothing? Let's go. Let's bonus time. Three week vacation. Let's fucking go. What a stupid fucking country. What a stupid fucking country. Right? We have stupid fucking leaders, stupid fucking institutions, and stupid fucking people. The population of this stupid fucking country is absurd. Stupid motherfuckers are still debating whether or not a mask is effective. Stupid fucking idiots are like, oh, the mask, goddamn, you know, doesn't even, yeah, whoa. Right? Like, what? People in this country are too fucking stupid to possibly continue what we're on right now. There's no way this country will not implode when this is the population we're dealing with. It's sad. It's fucking sad. This is a stupid fucking country. Stupid fucking voters. Stupid fucking people. Stupid fucking institutions. Stupid fucking leaders. Everyone in this country, besides like maybe 5 to 10% of the population, is too fucking dumb to live. And the rest of us have to deal with their horrible decisions. And it's fucking sad. It's sad. This country is fucking sad.